Hey guys, Psyche here. Ignore the black box in the corner. That's my best attempt at blurring out names. But today, I want to do show you a pretty incredible kite that I did earlier this week that I was supposed to record earlier, but I kept getting too lazy about it. Anyway, start off in this area, see the hunter from far, run away in this area, and I'm gonna ignore this window right here. And if I don't wanna evolve this window too early, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start getting foggy bladed through the walls, and well, I don't want that happening too early. So instead, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna go to this window, which is a much better window. It forces the hunter to go near it, or have the hunter use his blade if he gets close enough, which is, isn't too hard. Actually, right here, I make a mistake, I walk away from the window, but nothing a little luck can come clutch like that. Oh, oh one more hit. Oh, there you go. And just like that, just like that, make a huge comeback. I'll admit, I was pretty lucky after a mistake like that. But this time, I'm not going to let that mistake. I'm going to listen to myself. He can't come near this window. If he wants to come near me, he's going to have to vault it. So right here, you see me spinning. This is not an... Um, to be a jerk to the hunter anyway just just make sure i don't get a slow vault just in case if i get a slow vault the game is over i mean the game's not over but boom right there dodge the fucking blade right there the hunter thought i would go to the side of the pallet but i knew that coming i tried to duck out of the way and it worked out for me and that's really all you can do with river you can you just have to hope he misses his foggy blade because he's such a difficult guy right here i go to this window area it is not really good at window area in fact right here i get hit Maybe I should have vaulted the other window, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's still a super long kite, and I have this window right here. He's going to need another foggy blade to catch me if he wants to get me. Anyway, right here, I move back to this window. I already used this pallet, so I'm going to instead move to this window. It's, like I said, it's a very good window. And I think right here, the hunter gets a little bit greedy with his blade. I'm still, I'm not spinning. I'm just making sure. Um, I'm not spinning to be a jerk to the hunter. I'm making sure I don't get a slow ball. Right there, he did miss it. He got a little greedy with it. He thought I'd get a slow ball. Right there, he breaks the power. I see his, he has window walls. That's what I was talking about earlier. I go around it. This is, this is what kiting is all about, essentially. You just have to keep transitioning from window to window in this area, at least. Because there's a lot of windows. And if you're coordinator or mercenary with that window vault, you're going to benefit hugely from it. Now, right here, he leaves me. But he comes back. I, um, I'm actually interested to see if he was trying to chase an survivor right there. I th right there, he tried to hit through the wall. The things I wasn't scared because I knew those boxes would block it. So right here, cut's gonna come to end. There's really not much I can do at this point. He gets um, um, gets that hit through the window right there, and he will pick me up. But right here, the game's basically over. There's one cipher left. And the last cipher is ready, I believe. Yep, it is. So all we need is just one good save. Don't get hit by the foggy blade on the rescue. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is gonna be a clutch hunter, hunter comeback. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, will he make the comeback? Will he get hit the? Nope, he didn't hit the rescue worth the foggy blade. And this is basically where the game's over. Right here, he hits me down. Cyphers are primed though. Right here, I shoot him. So then this blue music box is gonna be in there for twice as long or something like that very good value with the gun right here i'm just running away to arms factory since he's going to be stuck in that place for a long time with that flare gun but he doesn't actually end up coming for me comes for dancer instead but there's no way he's going to hit the dancer with the tension she's by this window and the most he can do is foggy blade her he gets a little bit desperate right here hits through the wheel wall not really much you can do there at that point it's basically a loss for the hunter there's nothing he can do so it's all about that early game. Getting that good early game kite will just lead your team to victory. Now that's a that's a very rare four cipher kite right there. It very rarely happens. It's a thing that happened a lot in season one, but with these types of hunters, you can never really kite that long against them most of the time. Right there, the dancer. We did win. The dancer almost escaped from dungeon. It was in the middle. But unfortunately she did not. So that's all I have to show. I forgot what these other replays are. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something, how to use that area. It's not really that good for um, mechanic or mind's eye because the evolve the window slow. But anyway, see you guys later. I'll try to make another video soon. As long as I can finally get verified. Anyway, see you guys later.